Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Data Formulator is an application from Microsoft Research that uses large language models to transform data, expediting the practice of data visualization. In simple words, it is yet another AI-powered tool for analysts, developers, data scientists or data engineers to iteratively create rich visualizations. Unlike most chat-based AI tools where users need to describe everything, list every tiny minute detail in natural language, Data Formulator is an intelligent tool that combines a user interface or user interactions and natural language prompts for easier interaction. This blended approach makes it really easy for users to describe their chart designs while delegating data transformations to AI. Let's install it locally and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Master Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50%. This is a VM I'm going to use. And I'm not going to use GPU for this video because I'll be using, using a hosted model from OpenAI, which I will show you shortly. So for the installation, let me uh, just create a Conda environment so that I don't have to worry about this package disturbing my local installations. And installation of data formulator is as easy as running this pip command. And it installs all the auxiliary libraries which are needed. So let's wait for it to get installed. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Okay, let's see what is happening there, almost there. And everything is installed. Now, in order to run this tool, all you need to do is to just run this from your command prompt data underscore formulator. And you can see that it automatically starts it in your local browser at port 5000. If you don't want it to start on uh, port 5000, you can also specify it in your CLI command by just listing whatever port you want it to run on with the dash dash port switch. Okay, so our data formulator is ready and first step you need to do is to select a model and you can either go with OpenAI or Azure OpenAI. So if you want to use a cloud hosted one through that Azure AI services or for that you would need an endpoint, but I'm just going to go with OpenAI's model. So let's click on select a model. This is where you need to select your provider. So it runs with OpenAI, Azure, Olama, Anthropic and all that stuff. Let's first try it out with OpenAI. So I just selected it. Then let me give it my OpenAI's API key. If you don't have it, just go to platform.openai.com and then grab your OpenAI key from there. And that is a paid option, of course. And then click on models. It just takes a bit of a time to populate. And I'm just going to keep this uh, I'll just have to wait while it populates. And I have added this model GPT-4O after it popped up. And if it doesn't pop up, just enter it manually. And then you can set this API base. By default, I believe that this also grabs it. If you have everything is all right, like your API key and stuff, you can simply, uh, you will see that status is green here. Let's click on apply model. And then I'll just select it here. So our model is set, the GPT-4O, and I believe you can also select other models too from OpenAI. And then you can load your data either from their own examples or your own file or even from your clipboard. So first up, I'm just going to show you how it looks like. So I'm just going to click on example if I could see any. So these are some of the example data set where there's a gap minder, some income, different one which you can check out. So maybe we'll check out the disasters one and then I'll ask it to load the table. So entity year end, there are some uh, deaths. So let's check it out. 
and then these are some of the challenges which you can see on the right hand side and on the left hand side it has created this table from here you can draw different charts so if you scroll down you will see there is some sort of uh, preview of the data i'll just scroll it above just for you to look at it okay now and i actually checked if i could make it in a darker theme but i couldn't find any so i'm just going to make it a bit bigger so that you can see so after loading your data then you can select any chart from here just to visualize the data because this is a visualization tool you can also click on auto to see what happens so let me click on auto and we will see what happens here so it is just asking me that say something to get chart recommendation so from here what i maybe i'll just say okay maybe i'll create a heat map so i'll just click here i'll say create a heat heat map to show the total number of tests caused by each disaster type each decade and then click on formulate it is formulating it and there is no gpu requirement here because it is all being done uh, on your um, with the hosted model and you see very quickly it has created the result and then it is also telling you that it could be wrong now from here you can uh, change it you can refresh it to recreate and then you can remove stuff from here you can even uh, add any facets or something like that so maybe if you just click on entity here it is going to do the entities you can remove some stuff it, it is going to show you that in real time you can even hide the editor another good thing is that you can even add a new concept here so you can just click here and then keep adding your new concept name like you can say um, something uh, like tsunami and then click on save so there is a new disaster which you have added and then you can keep adding stuff there and it is going to uh, start populating it here and then you can also refresh it it is going to regenerate it for you there you go now on the top right if you click on the reset reset session it is going to reset it for you also you can grab any data from your local system so for example i think i do have a financial sample financial csv file so you see i just uploaded it finance.cv it has populated the whole data from the right hand side and this is i'm very surprised it's very very fast and then you can just click on uh, maybe i will just go with first uh, let's go the histogram there you go and then you can just simply run it by clicking on formulate data in the data formulator after all and this finance data just contains some product information uh, on the basis of geography it's a big file so it is going through that data and let's see what it comes up with and there you go it has generated this a uh, unit sold geography base and all that stuff you can also change the plot from uh, you know uh, the chart from here for example you can go with pyramid chart or something like that and one thing it cannot do at the moment it cannot fix your data so if the data is wrong as you can see on the right hand side my field are undefined because i haven't really put it in anything here so you can even drag drop i believe you can okay so maybe you can just put it here yep you see sale price is here and now it has generated it accordingly so it cannot validate or fix your data which makes sense but other than that it can do a lot of things as you just saw so fairly good tool for data scientists for data gen uh, engineers i believe and we have been covering a lot of stuff in this uh, domain on the channel if you have been following it and i think this is a really good project so try it out i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching